Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got another little lure for you here today. This one is CC018, the Black Dragon Crappie. All right, so we already got her primed up with the titanium white. And uh, we're going to spray this down with some uh, pearl white, wicked pearl white. And I've actually got a few other lures to paint, so I'm going to go ahead and hit them with pearl white too. Since I already got it in my gun, most of the time I like to just go ahead and hit some more lures that I know I'm going to be painting or have, have an order. So, just keeps cuts down on the waist and already done so it's one less step I have to do when I start to paint the lures out for the orders a lot of my patterns use this for a white underneath I think even when you're using a transparent color or you're using a, a, a light opaque color you know it tends to tends to help those colors pop and give it that pearl look without painting the pearl so I hit it with the pearl white. And it just adds a little extra to the base coat. And one, two more. And it's really hard to tell on camera, I know, that pearl, what it looks like, but a lot of times it uh, it really brightens up more when it dries back. And it's really hard to see on camera, I know. this out of my gun Okay, get this cleaned out and uh, we'll get on with the black. Bring you right back. Okay, got the next color we're going to be using is pearlized black. Pearl black. And I got this little stencil here. I'm not sure. I can't even remember where I got it. I got so many stencils from over the year. But uh, if I can find uh, remember it and find it, I'll uh, put a link in the description. But 
There's just so many stencils out there. I buy a lot of stencils and make my own, so. I'm sure you can find this. Um, it's some art supply. But uh, any kind of little speckle stencil will work for these crappie patterns. And I don't always use the same one. I kind of mix them up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to hold that baby down there. And I got the face taped up a little bit. And I don't even put these on real dark. Just going to be put a little ghosting over them. Sometimes it's hard to tell, though, when you're putting on how dark it's getting. Oh, I like that. Okay, so, so like it says... get all my stencils okay so I'm gonna turn it around this time Put my piece of tape back on just helps me keep from getting it all over the whole lure and it gives me a little something to hold it down with tilt it a little bit and just don't worry about it it's never gonna look the same on both sides with these kind of patterns but no fishes Perfect. So, and sometimes you want it ghosted, sometimes you want it, you know, nice and sharp with this particular pattern. You want that little ghosted look to resemble more of what a crappie is, looks like. Their specs are. Pretty much all over the place. Okay, I got a little tip dry there for a second, so I'm gonna pause for a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna hit a little more up around this eye. A little bit. Yeah. Alright, now just a little bit of light down the back, just to blend these together. I like to slowly build it. A little bit around the eye socket. All right. Put some eyes on. And what's this dude's done? Another simple pattern. Okay, let's get the eyes on it. Okay, put a little dab of super glue on there. And we're going with this dragon eye, yellow and black. And it's a big eye. Good. Let's get the other side on. We're ready to epoxy this dude. Yeah, a little too much glue on that one, but it'll be fine. Also, don't stick to my finger. There we go. 
All right, guys, I'm going to get the epoxy on this guy, and I'll bring you back and show you the finished piece. Okay, friends, we're back. Uh, got the uh, crusty dragon crappie all done. Looking really good. All right, got uh, so the colors we used for this video was golden white, titanium white, wicked pearl white, pearlized pearl black, and um, we uh, used the dragon eyes, yellow and black dragon eyes. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoy these series of videos I'm doing. I got a bunch more coming up, so stay tuned. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. And give us a subscribe if you haven't. And um, if you ring that notification bell, you'll get notified when we upload our next video. All right. All right. Everyone, stay crusty, my friends.